hey what's going on guys let's do this problems right here the first question is asking if we double only the amplitude of a vibrating ideal mass and spring system what will happen to the potential energy of the system now in this case uh, this is a spring system right so the potential energy equation is going to be u is equal to half k times a square so here we want to know the relationship between u and a square because u is potential energy and a is amplitude so they are asking if we double the amplitude what will happen to the u now let's take the proportionality u is directly proportional to a square right so if we double the amplitude so this is initial u naught then we don't change anything and if we double the amplitude we are going to have directly proportional to a square so that's equivalent to 4a square right and if you want to write this one in terms of the initial one you can write this one like 4 u naught right G because u naught is proportional to a square so u prime is going to be proportional to 4 u naught so that's going to be the relationship so we know that this is increased by factor of 4 so that's going to be the answer for the first question now let's look at the second question if we double only the mass of a vibrating ideal mass and spring system the potential energy of the system so what will happen to the potential energy of the system right so here they are saying we have when they double the mass what will happen and if you look at this potential energy equation so this is this is for spring potential energy right you may have seen mgh but for a spring this is the potential energy equation now in this case we don't have m right here so we know that spring potential energy doesn't depend on mass so this doubling the mass is not going to change anything so from that one we know that answer is going to be does not change now let's look at the third equation third question the question is asking if we double only the spring constant of a vibrating ideal mass and spring system the potential energy of the system so what will happen to the potential energy of the system again we are going to bring the same equation u is equal to half k a square and from this one you know that u is directly proportional to k so if we double the spring constant so this is initial initial energy and if we double the spring constant the energy is also going to be doubled because it's 2k right now so if we want to write this one in terms of initial one we can write this one like 2 times u naught because we know that initial is k the new one is if you double the spring constant it's going to be 2k and if you want to write this one in terms of initial one this is going to be 2 u naught and we know that increased by factor of 2 so that's going to be the answer for the third question i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time